Hi, and welcome to the Cult TV Sofa. This is a reaction video of the ninth episode of Season 1 of Babylon 5 called Death Walker. Stand by for an extended intro for this one. Last time we saw Commander Sinclair kidnapped by two unknown men who used a device to probe his mind to see what actually happened to him when he blacked out for 24 hours during the Battle of the Line during the Earth-Minbari War. We found out that uh, on a suicide run, his ship was captured and he was tortured by the Minbari. Uh, Delenn was one of those involved and Sinclair was then released and the Minbari surrendered, but we don't know why. Sinclair is keeping this information to himself for the time being and will be investigating further. Now, just want to discuss something that's been raised in the comments. I have said that I have watched all, although more likely most, of the episodes already. I don't think I've seen any of the films. I might have seen one, but I really can't remember. Um, I watched them on the first run on TV, so over 20 years ago. And also, when I watch TV, um, I was and am normally on my computer, because I have my background's IT and I'm always on my computer. Um, and I have the TV on in the background, so I do not give it my full attention at all. Um, and I also have an awful memory. So, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, whilst I can remember a lot of what happens, there's a lot I don't. I'm trying to watch Babylon 5 with a fresh perspective, giving it 100% of my attention and questioning everything I see with an open and clear mind, which to be honest in my case is not really hard to do as my mind's often clear. But I really am reacting to what I'm seeing in front of me. I'm trying to keep my reaction to what is and has happened, not what's going to happen. And I also hope that by watching in this way, I may find details or themes that you may have missed as well, so we can all enjoy it together. So I hope that makes sense. Let me know in the comments if I can make anything clearer. So let's see what happens in the next episode. I'm going to put any relevant trivia that I find over here. And at the end of the reaction, I will be discussing what's happened and my thoughts about the episode. And I'm going to start it in... Three, two, one. I wish to engage your services. For what? Business. What sort of business? Important. <laughs> Just love the way they speak. I know I've said it before, and I'll likely say it again many times. Death Walker. Death Walker. Death Walker. Death Walker! We've all got a friend of a creep like that. We look at them, shout out Death Walker, we run towards them. But that was me. And the top. I'm thinking it's not really a sign or a name of endearment, Death Walker. Natas, why did you attack that woman? Listen, sister, if she dies, you'll rot in a cage until your spots turn grey. It is Shankar. Doesn't she have diplomatic immunity, though, like Chikar? When the Dilgar conquered Hylax Seven, my grandfather and his family were there. Deathwalker used them in her experiments. The Dilgar invasion was 30 Earth years ago. If Deathwalker was alive today, she'd be an old woman. Sounds very reminiscent of sort of that Nazis experimenting on you and me both. prisoners of war. However, I will agree to house arrest pending outcome of our investigation. Guards. Take Ms. Natath to Ambassador Jakar's quarters. She's not to leave for any reason. I really don't get this, the diplomatic community, how it works on Babylon 5. Because Jakar has said that his quarters is sovereign land for the Narn. So they have no jurisdiction in his quarters. As I say, with diplomatic community, they can, in theory, commit crimes and not be prosecuted for it. Not sure. Scan subject for any sign of cryonic freezing or body alteration. Commencing. Scan negative. It was a sort of genetic manipulation of a body to de-age her. Yeah, some sort Doesn't of look like any kind of drug I've ever seen. Keeps her young. Doc? When she's fit to travel, you will send her to Earth immediately. Everyone Senator, wants, we uh... found evidence that this woman might be the Dilgar war criminal Deathwalker. So, 
she's obviously got some kind of um, serum or something that can help all the species and they all want it. Possibly the, the de-aging of some kind. God, the eyes are amazing. Contacts, I assume, to make it really impressive. A universal anti-agapic. I'm not familiar with the term. It's a serum which retards the aging process and prevents disease. Well, might work on her species, but does it work on other species? And with the help of your Earth, I will bring it to all the worlds of this galaxy before the year is out. Are you familiar with the name Deathwalker? Quite. History is a passion of mine. As I recall, she was the most infamous leader of the Dilgar invasion of the non-aligned sectors in 2230. She was a brilliant scientist specializing in biogenetics and cyber organics, but she was also a brutal and sadistic warrior. What a horrible combination. She also says it was the Wind Swords who sheltered her after the invasion. The Wind Swords? They are the most militant of all our warrior castes, but even they wouldn't harbor such a beast. He said he uh, history is a thing of his. It's hard enough to know our own history, yet alone other planets' histories. Whatever Earth Alliance has promised you, we will triple. Grant me one more thing, and I'll consider it. Name it. The head of the animal that attacked me within the hour. And that was just a consider it, not even a, an agreement. Whatever Jadora's peddling doesn't change what she is. I know, damn it. But if Dr. Franklin's right, her discovery will bring a future free of disease, aging, death, all across the galaxy. She can save more lives than she took. That's not... Obviously, being free of disease is obviously a good thing, but aging is not necessarily a good thing. A create a food... problems. I mean, there won't be enough food for everyone if no one dies. It'd be an exponential growth of every all the different uh, civilizations. It's not sustainable. We demand a full assembly at once to discuss her trial on charges of crimes against sentience. Ambassador Kalaka, I'm sure Earth Alliance will welcome all your representatives to discuss this matter. However, Jadur is in my custody and I have orders to send her to Earth. Orders I cannot disobey. You will have to kill us all first. Very well. We'll convene in three hours. Your door will be held in maximum security until then. Cost an unwinnable situation for him. He's stuck between his chain of command and the right thing and the um, authority of the ambassadors on the other side. Miss Winters, so lovely to see you again. That's not good to grab her by the hand and telepaths are That's quite a faux pas, I think. So I shouldn't listen to rumors, huh? <laughs> Sorry, Ambassador, we thought it best to handle this quiet. Uh, great job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The makeup's really good. Must take them ages to get that many people in costume. There's loads. We of the League have unanimously decided that Jador be tried for her crimes against sentience. Yes. That trial to be held here. God, crimes against sentience. That's such a huge charge. Could there be a bigger charge than that? On behalf of Earth Alliance, I vote yes. Surprised he's allowed to vote yes. I thought the, his government would have told him to vote no. You have always said that our worlds have a voice here. Will they you do, now deny us this voice? I'm afraid the rules of the assembly are very clear. Folks have but I have a compromise. But they're all part of the agreement on how it's all set up with the voting rights. They, it's, I know it's an emotive subject, but it's hard to complain when the vote goes against them. In the name of the Drossy Freehold, I demand immediate extradition of the war criminal Jadur. Reject this demand and we will attack immediately. Okay. <clears throat> Launch Star Furies.
reminds me a bit of uh, Firefly. Build the Serenity. Okay, so level on five's defenses. Makar is shocked. Our gunner rays are now fixed on your ship. They will fire the instant you come into range. You'll find their power quite impressive for a few seconds. <laughs> I would have thought space station's defenses would be much more powerful than one single ship. Lieutenant Commander, there's another surge in the vortex. Ah. One ship. But how many more? Last of you want to attack, at least we're all out war. Welcome to Babylon. A little bit close. I wouldn't let them get that close. We can settle this matter diplomatically. Try. At the moment, Failed. we do not put much faith in Babylon 5 diplomacy. <laughs> I like the round, um, the round ships. I'm assuming it's done on purpose to make us think that they're the UFOs, the flying saucers that we've, we all know about. And maybe the visitors just in the past. Secretly. A stroke of the brush does not guarantee art from the bristles. Now that one I agree with. Oh. Our business is concluded. So it's just a data Let's do crystal. Lunch, so. so it's something to do with her. They were scanning her the whole time? Earth is prepared to develop Jadur's discovery immediately. I propose the League of Worlds choose a coalition of scientists to assist her. When this coalition is satisfied, the serum is ready. Jadur will be turned over to the League for trial. Why would Deathwalk go for that? Help them and then get... Can we trust your alliance? No. We'll honor this agreement. It feels like he's very much out on a limb on his own here. Without the backing of Earth Force, he's kind of forcing their hand. Well, that's not going to rile people up, her being in uniform. It's time. Good. The key ingredient in the anti agathic cannot be synthesized. It must be taken from living beings. For one to live forever, to another it. one must die. Someone else die, yeah. You will fall upon one another like wolves. It will make what we did pale by comparison. The billions who live forever will be a testimony to my work, and the billions who are murdered to buy that immortality will be the continuance of my work. Not like us. And people will do it. You will become us. Yeah, they will. That's my monument, Commander. That's a hell of a monument, isn't it? She's not going to live. Stand by to activate the Lieutenant Commander. Something's coming through the vortex. It's a Vorlon ship. That's my death walk there. Why? You are not ready for immortality. Says the Vorlons. Violent. Terrible. It was the most frightening experience I ever had. I still have nightmares about it. Today I felt those same thoughts again. But this time it was no nightmare, it was deliberately provoked. Who was Kosh dealing with? Another alien. He said his name was... Abbott. BCR. They're cyber-organics. Living recorders, part machine, part sentient. Several of the alien races use them. They can record just about anything. Sights, sounds, biorhythms, thought patterns. I'd say you were set up. If Kosh knows what you fear the most, he can use it against you in the future. Blimey, that's quite an invasive... That's almost like an assault. Well, no, it is. To force that kind of memory on someone and then to record it, that's pretty horrific as well. Okay. It was a really good episode. Really did like it. It was a hell of a big subject to force into 44 minutes or whatever. Of a, in fact, no, a lot less than that, 41 minutes. So it felt <clears throat> a little bit rushed, but I mean, that, that kind of subject, you could do weeks of TV, I'm sure, and still uh, analyse it and look at it from different angles. I mean, what, uh, I mean, it's, everyone was bad <laughs> in that one, and it's, 
it shows that okay so the Dilgar well her let's say her specifically um, Death Walker did that um, experimentation and yes there was uproar everyone's obviously against it, her and wants justice but they want you know they want the results as well because uh, they're going to use it for their benefit so everyone's bad in that situation um, and yeah what um, Kosh and that other guy I can't remember his name did to her that really is that's horrible to force that kind of thing so was it just that memory that they got did they spend all that time sort of working her to get that or is that the only one that came to the front have they been recording her other memories that's horrible well I say memories but is it was it memories or was it just sort of the emotion and the feelings I'm not sure what can you do with that kind of information Ugh. Uh, yeah it was a really good episode It's hard to see how, I mean, I'm assuming the next episode, everything's back to normal and everyone's friends again or, or enemies again in the um, Centauri and the nuns um, situation. But, I mean, they almost came to war. All of the, the League of Non-Aligned Worlds and and everyone else. I'm not quite sure how that works either actually. So you've got the League of Non Aligned Worlds, which I'm assuming is like a a conglomerate of all the smaller races. And then you've got the bigger races, the Centauri, the Nan, the Minbari and Earth, so the humans. Um I don't know how big each of the races are, um, but it does seem a little bit unfair on the the league because they got all those little vo all those voices. If they don't all agree, you know, if one of them or two of them don't agree, they're not going to get much of a vote. But even in this example, they only had one vote, all of them combined, and it didn't count for anything because the others voted against them. So they're in a bit of a rubbish situation. But again, it hasn't been a problem up until now. They've all gone with the way the structure and how it all worked. So it's just when things went didn't go their way, that's when the problems happened. And like I said, it almost came to a war over it. Um, interesting to see Babylon 5's defences. I'm... Well, I know that we're going to see more of that in the future, which is always good. I, I do like a good action scene, so it'll be good to see some uh, some battles. Um, visually, it'll be impressive. Obviously not good for anyone involved or hurt. Uh, yeah. So, really enjoyed that one. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And, yeah, see you for the next one. Be seeing you.